And still on the topic, now we are joined by Charles Christopher, coordinator, Yaga Africa. He joins us from Mandalawa State. Many thanks for joining us at this time. So, has concluded elections in Adamawa State. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So the question I asked was, yeah. what was your reaction to the just concluded elections in Adamawa State, the results declared by INEC? Uh, actually, this is exactly what Yaga Africa have been fighting for, that in democracy, three major elements must play. Number one, that citizens must cast their votes, freely cast their votes. And secondly, that citizens' votes must be counted, meaning all the votes casted must be counted. And fourth, uh, thirdly, that the winner, that the person that scored majority of the vote and satisfied the requirements of the Constitution should be declared winner. And that is exactly what the head office of INEC have come to do. As you can recall, that I actually speak concerning how the wreck, Mr. Hudu, which was suspended by INEC head office, that declared uh, election uh, result, declared the candidate of APC winner, even if 10 local governments of the election have not been concluded. But the process has just been concluded, being, uh, being monitored by Festus from INEC headquarters and the returning officer came in, collected the 10 remaining local government, and the winner, the person that caused the majority, having fulfilled uh, the constitutional requirement, that is Amadou Umar Rufintri of PDP, has been declared winner by the returning officer. That is the beauty of democracy. And that is what we in Yaga Africa insist, that the all processes of elections must be followed to justify who wins elections. Hmm. And since it is clear that INEC identified that the wreck should not be the one announcing the result in the first place, would you say the suspension of collision was of results was even necessary in the first place? Uh, actually, at the time of the situation, it is right for INEC headquarters to actually suspend the collection of the results so that they can have a true picture of what is going on in Adamawa State. Knowing fully that the REC was supposed to be the chief implementer of INEC law on election matter in Adamawa State, declared someone when the collection officer uh, is still uh, in another, is still on his uh, in, 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 on his hotel room waiting for 11 o'clock uh, to do so that he will resume and and the returning and the REC declared another person. You know, it is so embarrassing that someone that is expected to monitor the due process of election, he will be the one uh, declaring and causing problems in the entire election processes. So I think it's necessary for the election, for the National Head Office of, of INEC to suspend the election and then find out the true picture. And now the right thing has been done by uh, INEC and the winner of the election have been declared. Okay, all right. And uh, we really thank you for joining us in our news. But before we let you go, you have to agree that a lot of people have not been pleased with INEC. And with this happening, would you say that INEC have been able to redeem their image? Yeah, concerning present Adamawa situation, uh, we, member of the civil society in our Yaga Africa, you can believe with me that we are good in following every details that happen in elections matter. And in this Adamawa election so far, I think INEC have redeemed his image swiftly without wasting so much of time. I think we will commend uh, INEC on this. And I will also commend the administrative secretary of uh, INEC here in Adamawa state. He has actually distinguished uh, himself and shows a true competency in administrations of INEC uh, activities here in Adamawa state. All right, we thank you so much. But unfortunately, you seem to be losing daylight over there. Many thanks for sharing your views with us on the news. It's getting nice, it's getting nice actually over here.
Thank you very much. And Thank that's you. Josh Christopher, State Coordinator at the Mawa State Yaga Africa. And moving on to all the stuff.